Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a new yoga video. Um, so today I wanted to talk about six different ways you can use your breath in yoga. So if you've been watching my yoga videos for a while now, um, you might have realised that um, I put a heavy importance on the breath and breathing in yoga. Um, so I did a video not so long ago about um, how actually breathing will change your yoga practice forever and I stand by that, it's such an important part of yoga. Um, but today I wanted to talk through six tips, six different ways you can actually use your breath in yoga. Yes, six. <laughs> and there's probably more, but these are the six main ones. So, to begin with, breathing techniques. So I did a few videos on different breathing techniques. Um, I'll link them down below in the description so you can sort of go and watch those as well. But these, these are breathing techniques that you can use either at the beginning of the yoga session, during or after, and they just enhance your overall yoga practice. Um, and they just sort of help to make things happen in your body and your mind, let's say, in different ways. So yeah, breathing techniques is the first tip. So really, really sort of get into your breathing techniques. Watch my videos, research them yourselves, and you'd be amazed at how they actually make you feel while you're doing yoga practice and what effect it has on your body and your mind. So tip number two is to use your breath to calm and relax you. So again, there are breathing techniques to do it, but I just find that just sort of sitting somewhere quietly, closing your eyes, and just starting to take a few slow, deep breaths and just really focusing in on your breath. So, um, yeah, just connecting with your breath, listening to your breath as well. And just sit there for five minutes at least, just sort of doing your slow, deep breathing and you'll see what effect it has and it just instantly starts to calm and relax you. Your body feel calm, feels calm, your mind feels calm as well. So, number three. Um, so we can use our breath to stretch out areas. So when we're in a pose where we're trying to stretch our body out in some way, you can really use your breath to breathe into the area to see if you can loosen that area off. So create that space, loosen the area off to really help to um, lengthen that area. So I'm just going to sort of show you what I mean. Um, and it's just a simple side bend that we're going to do. So if you want to join in, join in. So just coming into a comfortable seat and we're just going to do a simple side bend but I'm going to talk you through how you can actually use your breath to, um, to stretch out the area even more. So use it to your way back to. Okay, so coming into a comfortable seat, we're going to place the right hand down on the mat and then we're going to take the left arm up. So inhale, taking the left arm up and then exhale, taking it over to the side. So either staying on the hand or coming over onto the elbow. Okay, so keeping that chest open, bringing the arm up and over, reaching through those left fingertips. And then we're feeling that stretch here. So what I mean by breathing into the area, just visualize when you take a deep breath in, breathe into that side area. And then see if you can use your breath to sort of stretch that area out even more. So let's try it. So inhale. Breathing into that area. And you'll see what I mean when you do it. You'll sort of feel like your side is expanding even more and really helping with that stretch. So breathe in. Okay. So that's the third tip. So the fourth tip is to actually use your breath to give you strength in a pose. Um, so a really good way to demonstrate this is to do it in our plank pose. So when we're doing our breathing, we're doing our slow deep breaths, but when we're in a pose that we need to have strength, so quite a strengthening pose like the warriors or planks or boat, <laughs> um, ones where we're trying to strengthen the body, it's really, really good to actually use the breath, harness your breath to give you strength. Okay, so I'm going to show you. So if you were joining, if you want to, we're going to come into a plank. So into our plank. So you might feel after a little while, you might feel like, ah, this is getting a bit tricky, it's getting a bit hard. <laughs> so really start to use your breath. So really start to um, take some strong, slow deep breaths. So you 
be amazed at how actually when you really harness your breath and use the breath in your strengthening poses how that can really really help you to stay in the pose and get more effect from the pose so tip number five is to use your breath coming in and out of poses so we can use the breath to go into a pose we can use the breath to come out of a pose so again i'll just demonstrate so coming on to all fours we're going to go into downward facing dog. So that's the pose we're going to go into, and then we're going to come out of it as well. So just placing the hands a little bit in front, touching the toes. And this is where we're going to use the breath. Inhale. Exhale to rock back and lift those hips up. of the pose as well we can use the breath again so inhale exhale bring the knees down or go into whichever pose that you want to go to so i find that using the breath helps the movement of the body so you can use the breath to move the body especially if it's a pose that you're sort of finding a little bit tricky use the breath to move in and out of poses and it really really does help so tip number six is to breathe to rejuvenate your body so sometimes when we've been in a really really strong pose for instance chair or plank the one we just did um, you can feel like you've really really worked the body and the, the yoga i teach we sort of hold the poses for a while so it's half a yoga we hold the poses um, so once you come out of the pose sometimes it's nice just to whew, have a bit of a breather and when you take some slow, deep breaths again, just to rejuvenate your body, you just feel like you've rejuvenated. You felt like you've just whooshed some good old energy back into the body, um, ready so that you can then do the next pose. So I'll just demonstrate. So we're going to go into Cobra, which is quite a strong pose for the back and the arms. So we'll go into that, and then we'll come into Child's Pose, and then we'll do some really nice rejuvenating breaths. Okay. So if you want to do this with me, lowering down to the mat, okay, hands beside the ribs, forehead on the mat, and we're going to slowly come into cobra, so reaching forward, drawing the body back, pushing up into the hands. Okay, so we hold these poses for a little bit, so really working the body here. And then when you feel like you've had enough, we're going to come into our child pose. So inhale, exhale, lifting up and coming into our pose of a child. Okay, so this is where you can then take those replenishing deep breaths. So just take two or three breaths just to replenish the body. Just feel like you're just sort of releasing everything. And just giving yourself a little bit of energy back into the body so you can go on to the next pose. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sure there's many more different ways you can use your breath in yoga, but those are the main ones um, that you use in yoga or that you can use that I think are really, really important. So see when you're doing your next yoga practice, see if you can pepper in a few of these sort of breathing um, ideas and just see how much it can enhance your yoga practice. All right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, enjoy breathing <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.